physics and I've decided that I'm going to start doing some of my questions on this channel so that I can look back on them later because this way I'll understand what I'm doing in the class more. So I'm currently on the vectors unit and this is a problem from one of the worksheets that I have. So an airplane trip involves three legs from two stopovers. The first leg is due east for 620 kilometers. The second leg is 45 degrees southeast for 440 kilometers. And the third leg is at 53 degrees south of west for 550 kilometers. What is the plane's total displacement? So in order to find this, we have to make a coordinate plane. So that's just, you've seen these a million times. It's just one of these. Now, it's going 620 kilometers to the east, north, east, southwest, it's like a compass. So, so that's 620. Now it's going southeast for 45 degrees. So I'm not going to be calculating anything right now. I'm just going to say that this is 45 degrees. And this is 440 kilometers. Now it's going 53 degrees south of west. It's worded weirdly, but that just means going like that for 550 kilometers. And now I'm just going to connect this because now it's a it's a full, it's gone all the way around. Because I'm trying to calculate the displacement. So now in order to calculate this, I'm going to make a chart which is going to help me see the information more easily. We're just going to split it up. It's not that great. So to split it up, I'm going to need to split up the points. So point 1, point 2, point 3, and point 4. So for point 1, 2, because we're getting displacement, so we're seeing the distance between each point. It's going 620 to the right. That's easy. There's no change in the y value, so that's 0. 2, 3 involves a little bit more calculation. So it's not just going to the right or down or any specific direction. So we have to make a triangle in order to split up the information. And in order to do this, we have to use Sokotoa. Uh, Sokotoa is a concept for trigonometry uh, using sine cosine and tangent, which are the buttons on the calculator that you've probably seen a lot. So an opposite, this opposite hypotenuse and adjacent, really quick, just so you understand how it's laid out usually, it's the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent, okay my hand ranks terrible. Uh, and this is the opposite, because opposite next to it, you get the idea. So 440 is the hypotenuse in this case. We're trying to find the x value. x value is the flat part, which would be adjacent. So 440 cosine, because we have, we have the hypotenuse, and we're looking for the adjacent, and then we insert the theta, the angle, which is 45. And if I put this into my calculator, make sure you're in the degrees mode, that's going to be 311, about. And for y, it's the same thing, but now we're trying to find the opposite. So that's going to be so sine opposite hypotenuse. I don't know if it's gonna fit here. Okay, we would, we'll just go down like this, I guess. Sine 45. 
which coincidentally also comes out to 311, but due to this being displacement and not distance, it's going to be negative 311 because it's going down. So for point 0.34, it's pretty much the same thing. So make another triangle. So 550, we're trying to find the x, which we've established is the adjacent. So cosine 53, because that's the angle, which equals 331. But because it's going to the left, which is towards the starting point, that's going to be negative 331. And to calculate the y, that's 550 sine because opposite of the hypotenuse, 53. So when I calculate that, that's going to be 439. But again, it's going down, so that's negative 439. So now that we've calculated all these points, what's 1, 4? Because that's the total, that's final position and starting position. So we're going to have to add all these up first. So 620 plus 311 minus 331 is exactly 600. For the y, 0 minus 311 minus 439, which is neg. Oh, I should have written it down, but. That comes out to negative 750. So this actually creates another triangle, which is the big one. And we're trying to find just the hypotenuse. Because we already know this information, we don't need to calculate these because we've already done that here. So we just need to do square root 600 squared plus negative 750 squared and you have to write it like this because otherwise the negative stays negative and it causes a bunch of problems I'm doing it on my calculator right now And that's going to come out to about 960, which means that the displacement between uh, the starting point one and starting point four, or from four to yeah one to four, with the x and the y is 960 kilometers. So this video was just to try out this kind of format. Uh, hopefully it's going to be helpful to me, and that means I'll continue doing it for as long as I need it.